Hey guys, I'm out here in Tucson, Arizona doing some video work with Eric and Tina, having a blast. Um, and one of the cool things about these guys is they're on the road living the RV life, living the disc golf life. Um, you can, they, they're doing clinics, doing, going to all kinds of places, spreading the good word of disc golf. And one of the things that I thought was really cool is they live full time in an RV. So I thought maybe you guys would like to see what's it like inside the Whale Pants RV. And it's right here. So let's go take a look. Right on. Come on in, Bobby. <laughs> um, we are plugged in right now at a friend's house. So we have powered everything, which we don't always have on the road. And right now we have the slide out pushed out, allowing for more space, which is great. So we push this out anytime we're stopped for kind of a long period of time. Sometimes even when we stop at night, if we know we have the space. So it's a little bit smaller when we're actually driving. But, right. This is where we sleep. Get up here. With the cat. You just got a new mattress. Uh -huh. Memory foam, ooh. And it's right above where we drive. It's right there. Nice and easy. Drive there, sleep here. Um, this is where I get most of my whale sacks work done. I sew them all here and there's plenty of other steps to it, but uh, we also set up our computers and get most of our media work done here as well. Um, mm. We've got frisbees everywhere, over here, Usual. down there, up, up there. there. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Frisbees so. <laughs> in every cabinet, making things work. Some clothes in here. Yeah. Just to make things work. So the functionality of our house is really over here. We've got a full kitchen. We've got a fridge and a freezer. We've got an oven and a stove, all uh, propane, so we can use them anytime, no matter where we are. Microwave and running water, which wasn't running last week, mind you. I fixed it. This is a brand new faucet. Um, so we do have a generator here. If we're not plugged into shore power, they call it, then we can start the generator and we can use any of our electronics. So that's key when I'm needing to sew or do any stuff like that. And then the bathroom. So we've got a full shower and heated water and we have a toilet and a secret hedgehog in there. And we use this for as much storage as we can too since we have so much stuff and so little space to put it. So. First corner over here, keep our bags. This is mainly what we're, we are throwing. If we're working on field work, we pull most of our stuff out here. Cabinets, closet space, we share a closet. I know, ladies, she shares a closet with a guy. Closet with a guy. That's insane. Crazy. Crazy. So we make sure we make use of all this. We actually have on the back, we have a little extra storage for other discs and just random stuff we, sell. stuff we sell, a lot of random stuff, which is great. So if you are thinking about this as a life you want, you're gonna be, able, be ready to be confined. The beauty really is, is that we can park this thing anywhere. It's 23 feet long and we can park it in normal parking spots and we kind of get away being under the radar. So it's nice to have a small space. Mm -hmm. So what is most the most challenging part of living in an RV while you're touring for disc golf? Repairs. Unexpected large costs. That's probably my least favorite part and the most, the hardest thing to get over, I think. What do you think? Probably the understanding that this is your vehicle and your home. So little trips become bigger trips because you're having to move your house and you have to make sure you clean up everything and everything is in a secure spot. So a quick run to the store isn't always that quick. You have to move and make sure everything is secure so you don't break anything and have any more costs, which you know basically is your rent. So we don't want to ever add to our rent. What would you say is the, mo the biggest misconception you think people have about touring for disc golf and living in an RV. That it's all fun. 
It <laughs> is all f like we are doing a lot of fun things, but we have to work hard. We have to drive long hours. We have some grueling days, but it's a part of the job and it's a part of something that we want to do. So you I take work, the good with the bad. I work more hours than I used to when I worked at a bank, but it's all stuff that I really like to do. So it's still a lot of hard work. It's just different. What was the goal of living full-time in an RV while you're touring for disc golf? I decided to live RV life to cut down on expenses. It cut out my rent and it's my asset, so I'm not giving other people money while I'm not living in it. I'm always living in it. Um, and I don't have to have a rent payment and I can also bring it with me wherever I go. So I'm avoiding paying for hotels or, I mean, everything in here is my utilities and my rent. So that was the main goal is to be able to go anywhere I wanted to go without additional cost and no rent. Yeah. For me, it's just to be able to feel like you're home always. And this is definitely that way when we're staying here the whole off season in in the RV as well. It's very homey. It's exactly what we want. And we, we can finish a round at a tournament and then go home. Mm -hmm. Which is not the luxury that everybody has, so it's it it, we it can is nice. We go cook on lunch break. We can go yeah. take a nap if we want. It it really makes a big difference, and that's a luxury I wasn't expecting, but it's really nice to have. Mm -hmm. Tell us something that you that uh, is awesome about this type of lifestyle. Freedom is hard to find in as pure of a form as we have it. We can decide, you know what, I don't want to stay here for the rest of the season. Let's go to San Diego. We can mm -hmm. we can decide to up and go to a tournament next weekend that's 15 hours away and it's not a big deal because this is everything we own. We don't have to pack up. We don't have to plan. We don't have to fly or call off work or anything. It's the freedom that comes along with this lifestyle is better than I would have ever hoped. Uh, getting to see the country and what what it offers and what it has is incredible. I uh, have talked to my family about it a lot and they are somewhat envious, but you know, happy for me. And we're incredibly happy and incredibly grateful to live the life that we are and to see the beautiful places and to meet the beautiful people and awesome people and do the incredible things that we get to do. It's yeah. definitely the best part. Yeah.